Hey, what's up guys? Ben here. I'm actually with Mods by Ben and I'm kind of curious because this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I've been kind of debating on trying to experience a iPad. I never, I never tend to like the iPad because I never like how the, just the whole operating system, it's very mobile. It's not so much a full on operating system like a desktop. I don't want to carry a laptop. So I've been kind of looking around to see what tablets are out. And now that the new iPad Pro came out with the new M1 chips, and what kind of got me interested was actually the Thunderbolt that it has, you know, the Thunderbolt input, USB-C and Thunderbolt, which that was, that kind of like really sparked the light bulb uh, for me because if I'm using the iPad to edit, I kind of want to use an external hard drive and keeping the files in the external hard drive and basically just using this almost just as a screen. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys how what actually how I experienced this and to, see, to let you guys just look at it. It's just a real world experience. Let's go ahead and get into it and I'll let you decide for yourselves. And all right, let's do this guys. All right guys, so I actually got the files already set, pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna be pretty uh, quick on this, uh, just so you guys can actually see what it's like to actually edit on the iPad. Uh, you're gonna need a dongle, which this is a USB 3C to uh, SD card because the Hasselblad takes a SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, let me go ahead and actually start real quick. So, Let's see if I can actually put this in. So if I put it in and you can actually go to the folders here and we click back for a second. So actually you can go ahead and actually create a new folder. Uh, I already did, which I called it Corsair 5000D. So I'm not gonna create a new one. Actually, if you wanna create a new one, you can go ahead and call it Mods by Ben. Uh, by Ben. Golly, the B doesn't come up, man. And there you go. And that's how you actually create one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do just, but if I wanna get my files off the SD, SD card, you get just gotta find where your SD card is, which mine is labeled like a SL, which I didn't format the card when I actually started doing the files on this. So bear with me guys. So if I go on here, it's gonna actually load up what's in my card. I'm gonna go into DCIM, which I have my images, click here, and there you go. These are the actual the raw files of my actual card. So if I click in, say I like that one there, uh, I wanna import it. So I go here and I can actually save to files and go to my Corsair. I should just go just for example, mods, mods you ban, which I meant by ban, whatever. We'll go with it. Add a little humor to it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So actually files are on there. So if I go back now to my actual file folder, which is, if I can actually find it on my iPad, mods you Ben, and there's the actual file. And actually this is actually a raw file. So I can actually go in and actually edit wherever I want to. So let me see if I can actually go to Lightroom real quick. Launch Lightroom. One photo, so it's a little imported. And let me see if I can actually go to my files. And I I don't see it. That's why I kind of got to get used to how this interface works. So, but let me see if I can actually go into my file folder and add it there. Uh, bear with me. So if I go to, let me see where it can actually import a file. Here we go, mods. No, that's not it, just the album. Uh, here we go, I found it. So from files, I'm gonna go back, 
mods you ban i want to add this one and here it is as you can see it says raw i don't know if you can see that it says raw file so this is actually the raw file from a Hasselblad X1D limited edition, which the files here tend to be really big because it is a medium format size. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and just edit this real quick. So if I actually edit this, see, bring on exposure, maybe highlights a little bit lower and see, see that. I like that there. Let me just see what it's looking like. And kind of maybe bring the shadows a little bit lower and my first impression on the actual pen and using it on the ipad it kind of is i gotta get used to it you know because i'm so used to a wacom tablet which feels much more like a paper i'm sure you can actually buy just a some sort of coating paper on on top of this so it actually feels like actual paper so let me see uh, contrast if it lets me an exposure say i actually like that all right let me go ahead and actually Im import that into photoshop which you can which is kind of cool you can actually just edit in photoshop but i think what it does here rendering open to photoshop writing now here's a very interesting point you got to realize since I'm actually going straight into Photoshop, what Photoshop's doing is actually copying the file to the cloud from the Adobe cloud for my account, which when it does that, it actually slows the process up because you're running over your internet bandwidth. So I kind of don't want to do that. So if I want to get away from not doing that, I'm going to cancel this regard. And what I'm going to do is actually go to instead of open instead of edit in photoshop i'm gonna go into export files uh, export to camera roll. camera roll actually let me go to files because i know more folder what folder to pick so i'm gonna go to mods you ban select that and save which this photo is actually it said i already exported into the actual file which you got to realize these files are massive man so it's actually pretty pretty instant as far as what it's doing so let me actually close that up and go to Photoshop real quick and see if I can open the file. No, I don't want to do that. Let me see what this is. So I'm going to go to files so I can go into my actual folder. Mods you ban. And let me see which one it is. 916. So I'm assuming it's this one here because it has a later time to it. Imported unsupported file format which didn't work let me see what the other one what happens on the other one right into cloud again for some reason i don't know why it's doing that but anyways so it's in a cloud so let's see if it has any hiccups so actually i'm gonna go to spot remover and go into size of that and remove the spots All right. I think everything, everything, everything else it seems. See, see what happened there. So I gotta do that. So I'm gonna zoom in, and the brush is a bit too big. So remove that. Remove that. So it's something that you kind of gotta get used to if you're actually gonna want to edit mobile on an actual iPad Pro. It is doable, you know, but it does have some limitations. I'm so used to actually using on the laptop and you using shortcut keys on the actual keyboard. So I'm, I wonder if you can actually do that because this, you can actually connect your USB-C to a USB-C input. So you can actually install an actual keyboard so you can go that direction as well. Uh, but I think everything else is pretty much, it's solid, man. I'm surprised how everything is becoming more smooth and these mobile devices so it's, it's it's going to become much more easier when it becomes editing on the go and you don't want to actually carry a laptop or you you don't want to be around your desktop so you can actually just select files you want and edit from there so let's say it's pretty much good to go and let me just file i'm gonna do quick 
export go to save to files um, mods you ban and save do you want to replace i'm going to replace it or keep both i'll just replace it save hard drive space so that's pretty much good to go i man this thing is crazy man i'm so stuff is getting so much better and i'm pretty excited about it all right guys i just wanted to kind of give you just a brief experience on editing on the ipad pro and that kind of just dealing with the challenges with it all right guys i'll talk to you later and peace don't forget to sub or whatever you want to do all right guys laters